uh, Roland Yap and US. Uh, so this uh, policy requires that you have the CFG, right? And yes. so that will depend on how good the CFG analysis is, you know, for example, how well does it work for C++? That's only an example. Correct. Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, so we considered the um, problem of CFG uh, generation uh, orthogonal, so we did not uh, directly address it, but yes, you're correct. In our analysis, we used a couple of uh, approaches in order to get the best uh, CFG we can uh, using state-of-the-art approaches, but we do not uh, introduce anything new about them. Yeah, maybe a follow-up. So when you generate uh, the CFG, basically you are, you are using a threat model that uh, this is the normal execution, right? So, and then when you are evaluating the CFI, it's under the uh, attack model, where let's say you have two nodes during the uh, normal execution. These nodes may not be uh, easily feasible. They could be far away from each other. But under the attack model, these two nodes could be easily reachable. Right. So do you consider these two different models when you are uh, evaluating uh, the CFI effectively? So two far uh, uh, nodes can become very close to each other under attack. So we base our um, analysis on the distance that those nodes have on the CFG that we extract. Uh, so, no, we do not consider two different uh, models. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah, we can discuss further uh, of 